In this video, we're going to talk about our new D-Box for power distribution. It's a customizable box that lets you power multiple accessories via one power source. This is our D-Tap version, which fits between a V-mount or gold mount plate and wherever it was mounted previously. It includes a mini XLR to D-Tap cable, which plugs into the side. Then this loops around and plugs into the V-mount or gold mount plate that was attached to the back. With the D-Box D-Tap, you can choose five additional connectors. On the bottom, we have USB for five volts, 12 volt two pin Limo, a 24 volt three pin Fisher, a 24 volt four pin Hiroshi, and a 12 volt D-Tap. For the 12 volt connectors, the D-Box passes an unregulated voltage from the battery to the connector. So whatever voltage the battery provides is provided to your accessories. For the three pin Fisher, the D-Box provides a regulated 24 volts at two amps. And for the USB, it provides five volts at two amps. In total, all the connectors can provide up to 10 amps at one time. A great feature of the D-Box is that the connectors are user changeable without having to solder. And to do this, we'll first remove the panel and four screws. Now that the four screws have been removed, we're ready to remove the thumb screws on the opposite side. Now that the thumb screws are loose, we can remove the panel. Next, we'll look for the connector that's attached to the USB. Once we've identified it, we'll disconnect the jumpers and we'll pull the USB out. Now that the USB has been removed, you can see that the 5 volt regulator board is built into the connector, which means that when we change to a 12 volt Limo, you still get the proper 12 volts. Next, we'll install our connector. We'll choose the 2 pin Limo and then thread the cable into the hole. Then connect it to the jumper on the other side. Next, we'll install the panel. Now that that's tight, we're ready to install the panel on the other side. I should also note that this is how you service the fuse. Align the thumb screws and tighten it into place. We've installed the D-Box D-Tap version between our power plate and our Quickback V2, which is the mounting plate for the RED. Now we can install our D-Tap connector into our mini 4-pin XLR. This way the battery passes the power from the plate to the D-Box. To install the V-mount version, you'll first remove your battery. Then you'll take the D-Box V-mount and attach it where the battery was. Then you'll attach the battery to the back of the D-Box. Power is passed through the D-Box into the camera plate and distributed through the ports on the side. If there's data information present on the battery, it's also passed through to the D-Box and to the camera. The same attachment method for the V-mount applies to the gold mount version as well. This version of the D-Box is referred to as the Project Box. It has six blank panels for you to customize however you might need. These products are all available in our store now.